In a year's time, I will be taking my final MB, which is the last set of exams I will be taking before I graduate from medical school. But not much further from these exams are the MRCS exams, which are usually held in October of the same year. Though these exams are usually meant for surgeons that are already in training, with increasing competition there is nowadays in getting accepted into one of the more popular surgical specialties, a new tradition is being developed where the newly graduated junior doctors are enrolling and taking on these exams already in their first year of work, in hopes of upping their competitiveness into getting into these specialties. I'm going to be taking this to the extreme, and will try to study through the content of these exams before I even start my final year of med school in the one month of break I have left. Specifically, I will be spending this month trying to go through all the content of the part 1 of this exam, and the textbook of choice will be the one recommended in the syllabus for this exam. Will I be able to go through the whole textbook, or do I eventually reach burnout and decide to actually enjoy life for a bit? Let's find out. Today is the 15th of February, and our final year starts on the 14th of March, which is in give or take 4 weeks. This book should cover everything for the part one, and right now it has 540 pages. So for the next month, my plan is to see how much I can go through to just get a feel of all the content that is inside of it so that when I come into actually trying to memorize it and prepare for the exam next year, hopefully nothing will be brand new to me. Before I want to make a proper plan in terms of how much I expect myself to go through every day, I need to spend today just going through it and getting a feel of the difficulty. So. Let's go. Because I don't believe in reading through textbooks because then they're actually books. I believe in active recall. Every day whilst I was going through the content, I would constantly have my notion open and I'd be making notes or more, more like questions on the topics that I was going through each day. And then I would spend the next day looking through them and going through all of the stuff that I've gone through the day before. So by the end of the whole challenge, if I have finished it, I would have gone through every single thing once just by reading it, as well as through reviewing it the next day so hopefully that increases the amount i retain when i need it again in a whole year's time uh, so it's quite dark already but i've only been working for around hour 45 minutes thanks for nicole's little interruptions she's skipping upstairs right now and uh the progress is slower than i thought it would be because it actually goes through quite a lot of anatomy and embryology, which I haven't really gone through since my first and second year of med school. So I've actually only done 10 pages, meaning I've got 530 to go, which is tough. Hmm. I definitely had a lot of doubt in myself on the first day. Just looking through the content, I realized how broad the whole MRCS could be. Maybe when it comes to the pathology sections, I might be a bit faster, but I doubt it. So I will try go through the next few days with the same type of structure. Um, it will be a bit of a challenge to see how far I can go in the next 30 days. Luckily, this is all just a, a pre-reading process for me where I don't actually have to memorize or finish this throughout this long break that I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get so ahead compared to my peers in surgery. Woo! I love studying. It is now seventh day. I've just finished working on this. It is now just past 4 p.m. The first week has sort of shown me that with a good amount of effort, I can do about 20 pages a day. I think it's a fair expectation to have on myself. Um, obviously, I'm not memorizing everything. The revision bit, which is looking back at the, the stuff from the day before, usually takes around 30, 45 minutes. Whereas looking at the next 20 pages for that particular day usually takes three to four hours, I would say. And the amount that I usually get through day to day varies quite a lot, depending on the type of content that I'm looking at, some stuff I, I am much more familiar with. On hindsight, it was also not a very good idea to record right after my study sessions instead of before them, because I usually actually get really drained from spending the amount of time I do on them, as you can probably tell. Boom! It's already been a week, I think, since the last bit. I'm now on the physiology section, which has proven to be a, quite a bit more challenging because it has required a lot more brain power from my point of view. A small hiccup came along two days ago. Because I was basically doing it every single day for 14 days, including on weekends, I got a bit tired because I had other things to do, and usually this takes up most of my day if I want to keep up with 20 pages a day. So I took yesterday and the day before off, meaning if I have to include the 20 pages I have to do today, I have 60 pages that I have to go through, which is definitely impossible for today um, because I was getting a bit tired from it. So now that I'm more recharged, it's uh, time to push myself back to the brink of burnout again and see how much I can get done today. <laughs> Hey man, what's up? Hiking? Tonight? Shit, I 
still have 20 pages to do tonight. Um, I need to find another excuse where he thinks I'm studying again. Oh no, I can't. I've got um a uh, a party tonight. Yeah. Whew, that was a close call. Oh, tomorrow night. Um, no, no, I've got uh, something to do with Nicole as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. I'll I'll, uh, I'll let you know when I'm free. Sorry. All right. See you. Have fun. Bye. So if everything goes to plan today, I should be able to finish the last 20 pages, which is such a nice feeling to have. So since it's my last day of this, I'm getting a bit too distracted, a bit too excited, thinking way too much about other things. I'm close to getting this done. I have 10 plus pages, which will take a couple hours. So this is the time when I had to pump out the most extreme EDM music. And that's when this bad boy, the Bose speaker comes in handy. We're gonna try push through this and get the most out of this last section. EDM. So this is music coming from laptop speaker. And now I'm going to convert it to the loudspeaker. Now I'm pumped. <laughs> Let's go just a bit louder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is enough pump. It's like a gym session. And I think the biggest reflection I have is that I am actually very proud of myself for having been able to push myself to finish this all the way to the end and go through all, all of this content without there actually being any external pressure or stimulus that requires me to do so. This was all internally driven, especially because deeper and deeper into the challenge, I ended up spending more and more time each day having to go through the content, either because I was getting more tired or the content was just getting harder and had more stuff to remember. Towards the last few days, I was spending at least four to five hours just going through the content of that day, but then I still had to spend two to three hours going through just the questions I made the day before. I really didn't expect myself to have to spend that much time, but that's what I wanted to do to make sure that I had a few days after all of this to relax, actually do something else before school starts hey man yeah yeah i'm finally free now you want to go for that hike that you were talking about you can't school's starting tomorrow oh yeah yeah i mean we better get studying then i guess no it's all right yeah i've been having a lot of fun as well um pretty pretty recharged ready for school now so uh all good yeah yeah see you around bye yeah so that's about it um anyone got any more questions oh yeah 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 uh-huh yeah, I refuse to answer that question. Anything else?